Hi, so year seven have been doing a topic on the five ways to well-being. Uh, as you know from my previous videos, five evidence-based things that the um, all, all the research tells us if we do this stuff, we will be happier, we'll be healthier and we'll live longer. What I've done this week is I've set them a challenge. I've given them all a leaflet and in that leaflet, it has a kind of grid on it and it reminds them of what the five ways are. And not all classes will have done this yet, by the way. Don't forget some are at different stages. So some might have only learned the first two ways of well-being, which isn't ideal. But with the, with the times we're in, I wanted to issue this now because the chances are I've issued this as a kind of homework challenge. There's a good chance this will become the work that we're asking them to do if and when the school finds they have to close. So what I'm asking them to do is have a go each day at doing one of the five ways. So it might be one day they try and do something kind or charitable. It might be one day they, they, they say, oh, actually today I made an effort to connect and I asked mum these questions and I really listened to what she had to say. It might be another day that they say, oh, I, I was really active today. I made a point of going, you know, doing some circuits in the house or, or, or helping with the hoovering or whatever it might be. Um, but we're challenging them to do one a day for 30 days. As I say, this starts as a bit of a challenge now while they're in school, it will extend to the point when we're no longer here in school or likewise if um, if there's holidays. Um, I'm posting this on showing my homework. There's no sanction for not doing it, but I'm putting it up there because it's an easy way of communicating it. What I'll also do is put a PowerPoint there that outlines some of the things that we've learned in lessons and reminds them of some ideas of things they could try and do. What would be great, we're all going to be stuck at home with our kids pretty soon and if we're going to manage to avoid wanting to uh, murder one another then maybe we could we could throw ourselves into doing some of this stuff together they're going to get homework at some point when when the school's closed from lots of different subject areas and i want to bring balance i want futures to be the one where we where we don't focus so much on the academic side of stuff and the work we want them to do but more on the personal growth stuff so by doing this they're going to do that but wouldn't it be great if you could join in if you could have a go at doing some of these things with them if you could talk to them about what it really means maybe google it yourself and then have family challenges so at the end of the day it's not, have you done your homework? It's, what of the five ways did you manage to do today? Oh, I did this. And you can share the one that you managed. And you can have a conversation about whose was, was really good and who had a great idea. And you, you can have rewards where you say, oh, yours was better than mine today. That's brilliant. You're the, you, you're the family winner for today. And each day you try and pursue these five ways to well-being. Um, hopefully, if we do this over the next 30 days or so, it will make... The, the new surreal times that we're living in more manageable it will help us to grow through this focus on ourselves a little more and 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 hopefully lead us to to remain happy healthy and safe um hopefully that gives you something to go on with um be safe everyone and i will um i will speak to you as and when i can